that has produced insecurity. Nobody is secure in Nigeria. He has produced poverty. Nigeria now has more people living in poverty than any other country of the world. We have actually more people living in poverty than the two biggest nations in population, China and India combined. We have more people living in poverty out of school children, 20 million, the highest in the world. We have the highest youth unemployment. The list is endless. And it's about you. It's about your future. What that you and I offering is that a new Nigeria is possible. And we can do that in Nigeria. So we only need to make fake promises. You don't need to close anybody's time. You are the part and parcel of this. You are the you. You are the part and parcel of this. You are the part and parcel of this. You are being used over the years. When the election comes, they've used you, they've done everything in the end for the victim. Because in the end, the schools are shut down for eight months. In the end, you're going to do a degree of four years. In the end, you're going to do a degree of four years. You stay there for six, seven years. Somebody swear for eight years. years. Somebody swear for eight years. I'm just giving you an example. Somebody swear for eight years. That is what we want to stop. And we are pleading with you. You have been with them. You've seen them. They have nothing to offer. We're trying to say, repeat again, a new Nigeria is possible. We want to be able to set up a government that will start dealing with these issues. We want to secure and protect Nigeria. Nigerians will be protected. Yes. Yes. Criminals are no more formidable. Criminals are no more formidable. What is lacking is leadership to deal with them. What is lacking is the, a proper security architecture that will allow our agencies to tackle that problem. And that is possible. Nigeria, we want the Nigeria where there will be rule of law. There will be law and order. An aggressive environment that will attract investment and allow for proper development of entrepreneurship. We don't want the Nigeria where. We don't want the Nigeria where. We don't want the Nigeria where young people are arrested for carrying computer or laptop. We don't want that. We will want a different Nigeria. We want the Nigeria where we will remove your country for consumption too. <laughs> That's what will give you jobs. Because we want to create jobs. We want you to be in school knowing that when you leave school you have opportunity. That's what we want to do. So this year's election, this month's election, it's not going to be based on crime. Let nobody come and tell you, I am from here or from there. <coughs> We've had it in the past. No tribe in Nigeria buys bread cheaper. No tribe, no. No tribe in Nigeria is free of insecurity. No tribe in Nigeria is where you have. You don't have unemployment. Every tribe in Nigeria, everybody is suffering. When they had access to strike, there's no tribe that was excluded. Everybody was included. But when they come for election, they start dividing you. And you're listening to them. It will not be based on religion. No religion buys bread cheaper. No religion was excluded during access to strike. Although things that affect your parents, when they hold pension and gratuity, they do not do it according to religious law. They were everybody. Unemployment of the youth, especially, is worse in the north and in the south. So it is not a tribal thing, 
so the religious things. So he will say only Muslims have a job and Christians don't have. Only Christians and everything. And let nobody deceive you. It's only in this country that they talk such nonsense. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Christian. If I go to Dubai, since I started going to Dubai since 1990, if I go there, the Catholic Church in Dubai is married is built by the enemy of Dubai. He don't take the land and build the church. And he's a Muslim. And his country is thriving. So let nobody tell us this nonsense any longer. That is what they contrive to get to power. And when they get to power, those who they rode on their back become their first victim. Please, we must stop it. Let nobody tell you it is a story. It is nobody's story. It's your tongue that take back the money. I'm number one. If anyone who claims is this town, I'm number one. Who yes. Yes. Because my own people have not had the opportunity of serving yes. since independence. So for me, I should claim it my town. I'm not contesting that I'm proud. Nigeria. I'm a proud Southeast man. But I'm even more proud of Nigeria. as a very proud Nigerian yes, who believes that if given the opportunity nobody will ever remember where it comes from but be proud to say I'm a Nigerian as a Nigerian who believes that I'm the most qualified to save this country yes. that is what what that you are now offering he said that this is the election. We based on character we can trust. Yes, we trust you. Uh, and that character begins by knowing who we are. Yes, we know you. That key, Papa Ahmed, is known by everybody. Yes. That Papa Ahmed. Running two successful universities. And that's what they're about. So if you want the record, you show me the record of the day. And I, Mr. Peter, will be. Both, both other parties. Please now 
house. And we want to kill the small one. That is what we want to do. And it is important that we do that. That is why we're saying, hold us responsible. And we will do it. We will make it work. You see now, team here, Dati, Baba, and me. Julius Aboro. These are all the people that came with me for Aboro. The other people are party leaders in the region. Of course, Aisha. These are the team we want to build. We want you to see a team that you can trust. It's all about trust. I want to finally, this job requires physical and mental energy. It's not a retirement home. Nigeria needs to go and work 30 hours or 24 hours a day. And we are prepared for the job. We are ready. All we want is to trust us. Go out and vote. Help us to stop the abuse of Nigeria. Because the abuse that we are going through today, which was already in a very dear state, will take his revenge, very grave revenge, on you. God bless you. Ali Brown, 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 